Well, this is just a quick update. Not much has happened since my last video, but uh, I'm going to give this thing a rest for a while and play with some other things. So I'll just document where I got up to with this. Connect to there. I've got firmware for an Arduino here, and that talks to a PC program written in Delphi where I can do things through the interface card that I built that I showed in the previous video. Just a few little things fixed. I found a bug in the voltage monitoring. We turn on the PDP now you can see the volts come good sooner or later. As it takes more samples and averages them out. And they're all good. The down the switch up, down, up, down, that works. Uh, I've got a couple more programs I think in the selection. Um, increment accumulator for instance. Tell it to download it and run it and that didn't work did it start again increment accumulator download and run and there it goes Cylon program that thing and we can dump memory with this this is only one page 512 bytes uh, in octal format, so including the spaces, there's five bytes per word, so it's a bit slow. Uh, we've got a faster version here, which transmits a packed decimal, uh, sorry, a, a packed hexadecimal format, so it's a bit quicker. That's only uh, three bytes per word, and I've got a, a binary format that's one and a half bytes per word, but it's got a few bugs. There you go. There's, there it is. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. I haven't got to the bottom of it yet. But if it did work, it would be faster. The communications is uh, pretty basic. It doesn't even do any timeouts, any flow control, any uh, sequence checking and retries. And we can fill memory with values. Currently that's full of random stuff. But if I go fill memory very quick over there. Uh, we load it now. All ones. Uh, one, two, three, four. And then load that. So I can stick in all sorts of bit patterns. So each memory location uh, is capable of holding any pattern of eight of the twelve bits. But that could all be one memory location. If the address lines are all welded together, for example, I could be reading just one location all the time. It's obviously not that bad because I can load these programs in and then read it. And you see there's all those one, two, three, fours, and there's the program. But annoyingly, this here. That 1000 seems to often be the same as what's in the first part of memory. Uh, the only m main thing I've done since uh, the last video is probably this memory test, which puts random numbers uh, starting at 1000, it's different. So we look, look at the memory again now. Oh, it's already been loaded. Um, yeah, we've got random numbers, but they repeat. So why is Location 1000 the same as naught. Is that because of problems in my software here, my Arduino firmware here, in my interface card there? I don't know. So one way I might I want to uh, sort that out is this uh, M8650 serial interface. I want to make the mod that allows it to work much faster than 1900. Uh, sorry, than 110 board. Change that crystal there and cut this trace and put a jumper on and then I can get it up to 37,800 board, is that what it is? 38,400, whatever, 38 kilo board and write a program to dump memory through this so it's bypassing all the stuff I've done here and see if there's still this memory issue and, and then if there, there is, a, <laughs> find out what's wrong with the memory. But I've done enough on decks for now recently, so I'm going to give it a break and play with other things. That's a quick update. 
I'm going to put all this software and schematic for the interface board on in a thread on the VCFED forum and I'll put a link to that in the doobly doo below this video. So hope you enjoyed that. Found it sort of interesting. I know it's uh, you have to be a PDP person familiar with them to appreciate it. And even then you might be struggling. <laughs> um, anyway, that's it for now. Catch you later.